Okay, this is World War Z, and this is tactical approach to completing extreme mode, and we are on Tokyo 1. I probably already said that, but at least I started this one relatively correctly. But anyways, tactical approach to completing extreme mode. The, the goal of this is to reduce the overall skill level required to complete the level using perks, tactics, team positioning, and other things within the game that involve overall general teamwork to handle as much of the game for you as mechanically possible. So, uh, for this, we're gonna need two exterminators. Now, the Drone Master does have a few points where they may be very, very useful for taking out Screamers on this map, but for the tactical approach, the Drone Master is not necessary since there aren't very many problematic scream spawns. There is one, and I will point it out, uh, it's when you meet the soldiers with the 50 cal turrets just before the bus, you, just before you stop defending the bus, and you let it get along the bridge and whatever. So uh, at that point is when most people would camp and let the horde come. Uh, and kill them off, and sometimes a screamer will spawn deep into the distance. In this case, because it's so far forward and it, the screamer is so easy to visually find while we're waiting to wipe out most of the zombies, the fixer is able to mask us and the team is able to move forward and get the screamer all together. So there's no particularly problematic spawns, and it also is very beneficial to us to be quick in that area and get through it without spending too much time looting. So we're bringing lots of rockets on this map because we really make very great use of heavy weapons in Tokyo, specifically the rocket launcher. So most maps we will have the My Round 2 perk to ensure that if we find any extra rocket launchers beyond what both of the exterminators already possess, then we'll have enough firepower to make sure that we are able to destroy the enemy. Now, on this map, the Fixer will frequently use masking gas at the end whenever anybody is placed on a stationary turret, so that way they're not endangered by any zombies that are getting around behind them. The whole team is masked and we can focus on putting bullets down range, especially when we get to the Gate 2 area, because there is a turret that is preset to always be facing towards Gate 2, but there's zombies that come down on the parking garage lower floor behind them. So that they, we need somebody dedicated to protect them. But gate 2 gets stacked up on zombies so quickly that you probably will need to use a heavy weapon if you don't have enough firepower focusing on it. And unfortunately, one stationary by itself isn't enough. You need more than that. So that's why we're carrying extra rockets because should we fail to mask, or the fixer doesn't have a mask, we have the secondary option of using rockets there. So gate two can fall and it can be very difficult to make sure that you're taking out all the zombies effectively. But if we put the masking gas on the turret, all four team members can fully focus on gate two and we can just completely ignore the zombies that are coming up behind us and have the stationary shooting. So it's a win-win if we've got the masking. And if we don't, we've got rockets. The other places that we use rockets is to snipe the hordes at the bridge or the shipping containers where the fences are placed in order to take down more of the horde. You can also use uh, a rocket directly on gate one if we are being overwhelmed, but you have to be careful when you're using a rocket on gate one because it's so close to us and you might get that stray zombie, that stray hero zombie that jumps in front of the rocket and suddenly you've got three downed teammates and a medic that's barely alive. Or god forbid you killed a medic and now you have none. Uh, so yeah, that'll be the approach to completing this. So these are the builds that we're using. This is the fixer. Our fixer has changed his uh, masking effect to lethal and he's changed it off of Night Owl. And the reason he's done that isn't for offense and killing zombies. It's more to allow us better line of sight because we won't get repeatedly stemmed over and over so it will not darken our screen so much. So it makes the visual effects less intense for being masked. 
Um, and he's, again, got my round, too. The exterminators, we're bringing the rockets and broad shoulders and stuff. It is possible to take third hand if the fixer is uh, having my round, too, and we'll still get our double rockets. But for the sake of consistency and using the same build, and if we end up, you know, dumping our rockets and picking up an MGL prematurely at the first swarm or whatever, we still have extra shots, so there is still some mileage that can be gotten out of this uh, broad shoulders. And sometimes there's a glitch where if you uh, pick up a rocket and try to fire or whatever, or you start with a rocket, it only gives you one. So, yeah, broad shoulders. And what's the last thing? Medic, I would recommend bringing Battle Surgeon for this one, seeing as the team is almost always together. Actually, there's no point in time where the team really splits up, other than the very start of the game, uh, which is spreading out to maybe find more heavy weapons and get lucky with some rockets. But aside from that, you probably won't get as much mileage out of Secret Ingredient as you would somewhere like Moscow, where you've got the medic constantly splitting away to do objectives. So, yeah, Battle Surgeon will give you that extra room for uh, error. And since every class here is not really picking up equipment bags, except for the fixer sometimes if he needs to get his other gas grenade back for the team, uh, there's not many times where you really need to mask the medic. It just shifts the aggro to the rest of the teammates instead of just shielding somebody and, you know, letting them take care of it. So it can be tactically detrimental, but you could still use whichever you like. I'm just saying it's it's okay to use Battle Surgeon. All right, uh, we're good to go. George? So are the exterminator uh, the, the exterminators running uh, job satisfaction? Yes, yes, we are. Okay. Yeah, just just to uh, you know get that extra layer of protection and reduce the amount of times that we need to be stimmed, so it eases up on the medic stim economy, because we've got you as a masking fixer, and sometimes you might need to take some of our bags because we'll need to mask the team in an upcoming horde, or during a horde, if you can't get your grenade back. But there's a bag nearby, so... Two of us being able to stem up, she doesn't need to use as many, on average, through the level. Well, you were just mentioning uh, the fact that you don't want to always go invisible because it creates aggro on the other players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... If, because the medic and all of us are always so close together and we're sticking as a group pretty much throughout this entire thing, if you mask one person, the zombies are still coming straight towards the three other people that are right next to you. And now they're ignoring the one person that is shielded. So that's why I was saying uh, Battle Surgeon might be more tactically effective here with the way that we're going through it. Yeah, that makes sense. There could still be people in these houses. We got reports of infected in your area, and we're out of time. I'm checking right here for a breaching charge. Sometimes there is one. So, for this part, we'll have two people go left, two people go right. Can anyone hear me? Preferably, preferably the medic and fixer will split up because behind. they can take bags. We've done what we can here, Shaw. Evacuation's over. And they're the two characters that don't have heavy weapons, so we can pick them up. They can pick them up. So we're, we're trying to find rockets. Payload rifles are a close second because they have so much range. MGLs are slightly less useful at the end because of the areas that the zombies can go to, but they can still destroy gate one really, really well. Found an equipment bag. Give me something big and loud. Over here. Yeah. Come check this out. 
It was a crossbow. Searching a stash. You hate it. Got it. And gamer, thank you so many times for like catching shit that I don't catch. <laughs> like I forgot to explain why battle surgeon instead of masking. Like uh, if you run out of uh, med kits or whatever, the medic they can uh, just use equipment, get you back to above half, and uh, it resets your downs. All right. I was just thinking a lot of people like to run uh, cloak and dagger on the exterminators. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And in this case, because, again, we're all so close together, like, cloak and dagger, it, it's not really doing anything for you. Because the zombies are still coming at your partners that are right next to you. Yeah. We are here, rescue leader. Moving out. Thank you. Okay, so on this part, you want to use the bus as kind of a shield. Here, here. Look what I it's AK here. So you want to use the bus as kind of a shield because the zombies will all go after the bus instead of us. And we won't take any damage. If you stick together and make you watch the right side to make sure there's no lurkers. Uh, you should get through this whole part with a bus without anybody taking any damage. It's on extreme, right? Yeah, it's on extreme. Get them on bus. The bus. Like, wait a minute. No one's Is taking it? any damage? You sure this is on extreme? Yeah, I had to make sure. No! Aw, oh, damn it. Damn it, gamer! That's... That's a lot of damage. <laughs> You messed up the no damage run. We can't go We're not the the bull started running one direction and then switched like halfway through. <laughs> he, he baited you. Check this out. Hey, there's a bullpup rifle there. Uh, not a bullpup, the that classic battle rifle. Over here. Oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna get that screamer. Hey, look, we got lucky and got the ACW. But we're probably not gonna use it because it's a lucky spawn. There's a med kit here. I hear a bomber. Alright, so I'm gonna get on the left side of the bus and somebody else got the right side, I guess. Molotov the bulls. Oh, it looks like somebody got it. Somebody wanted it. Okay. So for any auto turrets that we find, we're gonna save them for the end. But every other defense at this part we're gonna use. There should be one more horde that's gonna spawn. When they spawn, it's a, again a good idea to get back behind the bus. Because the zombies are gonna spread out. I heard this. Okay. Oh, Fine. behind you, George. Here, here we have a auto turret and a map kit. So I think the terminator, one of them, should pick that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh. Yeah, you might want to heal, uh, George. So you can both get your health back. Did we accidentally waste the oil? 
Yeah, I accidentally uh, shot it. Ah, that's okay. So there's oil. Oh, son of a bitch, I lit myself on fire. God damn it. Alright, well, I duplicated the barbed wire twice. That's nice. We have so much barbed wire. Where's the stationary tur- There's more barbed wire than we can place down. We can't place down anymore. Lucky us. Yes. Alright, well, let's put the switch. Uh, that's the RNG of this map, so that's why we don't- Did you want to, to uh, yeah, breach. breach this? Did you want to yeah, show- yeah. Did you want to show them how uh, they can get a free med kit without breaching? Yeah, you can get a med kit that's right here. Hey, Laura, come over here and grab it. You can just, like, grab it through there. Hold it. And you see she's got the med kit. But we're going to breach it anyways because it's fair to breach it, and they might fix it at some point in time. And we need the defense kit from there anyways. What we got? Automatic turret. Hey, rocket launcher! Let's get it! Nice. Got it. Laura, okay, get, this, get this heavy weapon. Alright, so, on this part, we're gonna defend from the zombies. Everybody make sure your ammo is full before we go anywhere. Alright, so George, don't forget to use your molotovs. On this part, you wanna use your molotovs on the uh, barricades, barriers. Now, when the okay. zombies start to get over the barbed wire, we retreat a little bit to the left. And we drop a masking gas down. And we all get inside the masking gas and focus fire on the bus together as a team of four throughout the entire duration of the mask. And Behind just, you. Oh shit! Goddamn lurkers! Every get game! Over here! Alright. Alright, focus on the zombies that are getting on the bus. Ah, uh, careful, careful, George. George, just stand still. Stand still. And drop another mask when it's over. We gotta move. If there's another equipment bag, you can get it. Alright. So during that point, I want to point out something that, uh, oh, where's George? Uh, uh, my bad. Sorry. So I want to point out that during that swarm, Gamer had to focus on trying to get a special infected kill so he could get his second masking grenade. But if he didn't have his second masking grenade, we'd have say we would have saved the equipment bag or something like that. It was over there for him, and he would have been able to run and grab that. All right, so uh, somebody get this stationary gun. I've marked it. All right, let's back up, back up, back up. I'm staying with the bus. Sorry. Yeah, he's so MP gamer is pushing the bus by being near it so he can progress the objectives and the zombies can stop spawning. Ah. Come on. This is six. I have the um, could you come back and grab this uh, stationary and barbed wire? There's two. Yeah, I'm gonna get it here in a, in a second. Gotta gotcha. kill this infector. There's a respawn point up ahead as soon as we open that gate door. But yeah, did you, you already get the gun? Did you already get the stationary? Uh, Laura's carrying the stationary. Did you want me to pick up this barbed wire? I guess yep, I'm already yep. here. Yeah, that's the only one that's left. Every fucking video, like, whenever I'm recording, the lurkers just attack like crazy. But when I'm not recording, they're pretty chill. But that time, a fucking lurker spawned in the middle of a swarm just to jump on my ass. It's like... It's like the director knows that I'm recording. 
preaching charge here. There's an algorithm that detects whenever there's screen capturing software. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, let's show off our lurkers today. Let's go fuck with Troy. No, stop. I'm trying to look like I'm really good at the game. Shit. The zombies are so spread out, my attention so divided. Jesus. Thank you, Laura. You're welcome. Bomber! Oh, shit! Okay. There we go. Jesus. Alright. Let's get through the gate. Come on, through this gate. And that gate opening up respawned George. Check up there if there's uh, equipment. This is the part where we want to be relatively quick, and that was the part where a streamer could spawn. They don't always spawn, but. Thank you. Oh, it was different. There's a, let's, a swarm over here. A lot of guns. Oh, there's a swarm. Wanna, panic. Wanna right, mask? Yeah. yeah, let's back up and let's get together and then mask everybody. There's a there's a gas bag there. If you need the kill, MP. I was trying to shoot him. All right. Got him. Drop another mask right here and we'll take care of the zombies, if you can. Alright, there we go. Let's just sit and mask, sit still and just shoot him. Pick our shots. That's it. Let's continue. I'm killed. There's a hider. Ah, ah, ah. The hider is dead. I heard Kimiko warning me. <laughs> and that's when the stress level started increasing. <laughs> Could you get me back up to half, Laura? One more. Auto do me. There we go. And now my ink. Man down over here. I'll let oh. you get him up. You go ahead, get him up. Look. Oh, is it a landmine? Yeah, he stepped on a landmine. Yeah, watch out, there's some other ones. Over these oh. oh. All right. So before we <laughs> jump over, let's handle this. These zombies here. The zombies are coming, so let's let's just take care of what we can before they. We don't want to take extra zombies with us towards the finale, if we can help it. All right, we got them. All right, so there's a spot up on the bridge, and I'm gonna shoot at it. Up there, where the zombies will come from, on the bridge, and we will rocket snipe them. So this we want to get all of our defenses set up. George, there's a voltage grid. Get that. Put it near where you put the auto turrets last time. Uh, Are you going to breach? Uh, yeah, yeah, we need to breach. Uh, I'm going to set up this auto turret. Uh, the voltage grid, uh, you see I've marked it near the parking uh, garage where we came in. Yeah, I had I had another one and I place it. Oh, okay, good, good. There's and a turret have, over here. Yeah, we have both. Troy, there. too. By the breaching okay. uh, container. 
Laura, go ahead and set up the uh, stationary turret facing gate two, so we can have two turrets. Okay. We gotta be quick because the zombies will spawn two, soon. This is Team Four, positioned in the parking garage. Roger, Team Four, holding for enemy contact. Get that stationary. Short. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. You want me to get it? Yeah, and take the bag right. if you need it. Oh, I thought I was there. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here and get back towards our uh, area where we're camping at. <clears throat> Got it. There we go, see? The gate too. And if you throw the mask and gas just right, make sure you position it well, you can get both of the players. Laura, I'm gonna mark a uh, heavy shotgun near gate two for you. Thank you. Uh, the, the other thing is make sure that uh, you kill any bulls or anything that, hey, that's on the terminal. grid, get that mortar. otherwise it... Mortar, mortar. Yep, use it all up. Use it all up. I'm gonna get on the turret, so watch my back. If the zombies start stacking up, we can mask. It is a good idea. Uh, doesn't seem like there's too many. Mortar again. Because they're coming. You can see that they're coming down on top of the cargo terminal. So I'm just gonna dump this mortar as fast as I can. All of it. I was going to say, uh, make sure that you kill any uh, specials or zombies on the grids, because they'll, they, uh, like a bull, will like burn out the entire grid if you leave and, them on there. And he won't be dead either. Oh, shit! Hey, there's a bull there. Shoot his face mask off. There's a med kit here, Laura, if you need it. Uh, yep, thank you. Ooh. Ooh, I'm pretty empty. Alright, gate two. So this is where we get on the stationaries, and we'll mask and have everybody just shoot it down. And he's masking everybody, and we're using both the stationaries. Get on the other one. And you see how all of this is just pure, uninterrupted damage. We don't have to deal with any zombies behind us. And it's done. Alright, they're coming from the bridge. They should be coming from the bridge now. They're not, I don't see any. Oh, they might as There it is! Hey, George! Rocket snipe the bridge! There you go. And the mortar? I... Making heavy use of the explosives. Just all of it. Just dump that shit. Dump it, dump it, dump it. And here comes more. Rocket snipe again. More mortar shots coming in. Oh, watch my back. I'm on the mortar. I got you. I got you. Everything that I kill with this mortar is tons and tons of zombies. Alright, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing the mask. Alright, he's masking, and then we just focus on the gate. If Once you're masked, everybody focus on it. The zombies won't, won't attack you as long as you're masked. They'll get in your face, but they won't swing. 
Excellent work. They were starting to overwhelm us, and Gamer immediately recognized it, and he saw zombies were climbing up, and he just dropped the mask before somebody died. Good job. That is a tactical approach to doing Tokyo 1. On our way. I didn't even use any of my RPGs. Oh yeah, I forgot you had them. Yeah, you see, as as you can see, we even had leftover RPGs. Like, I had to save one for my bridge snipe, and I guess that uh, gamer could have sniped them a couple of times too. Uh, but, I could have, but you're not always going to get that extra RPG either. Yeah, yeah, and well, sometimes you might not have time for it. I barely had time to. Uh, get all of the extra mortars in my inventory and use them all up. And you can see the number of zombies. 339 zombies fr from me died to explosives. And George killed 177 with explosives. That's, that's like, what, fucking 20% of the team's kills right there. Just from the explosives. That wasn't anything that was particularly skillful or crazy. I literally just sat there and held E on a fucking mortar. Anybody can do that. And the rockets? I mean, you got a lot of time to line up a shot. George, he fired both shots perfectly. Both of them hit the horde. And I managed to get it on camera, too. Just barely. <laughs> yeah, I saw it. They were pretty good shots. Yeah, good. So, uh, anybody want to say anything to the people before we turn off the, the video? Uh, well, thank you for watching, or what? <laughs> Laura? Um, uh, no. <laughs> They're watching you, Laura. They're waiting for you to say Judging something. Judging you. Well, <laughs> yeah. oh. uh, kill. No. <laughs> Surely Kill there's something the zombies. Else. That gamer. Oh. <laughs> you... Kill the zombies. You got anything that's, else? That's, 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 my, that's my best tip. Kill the zombies. Okay. Alright, well, thank you. And I'm going to end the video now.